Welcome to Sonaray. This video will show you how to install your SR1 system. There are four main steps. System preparation, layout, connecting, and testing your system. You will need wire strippers, cable strippers, 14-4 direct burial wire, wire ties, and a gardening shovel. We also recommend consulting an audiovisual specialist when wiring the system into your home. Inside the box, you will find eight satellite speakers, one in-ground subwoofer, 24 silicone-filled wire nuts, and the manual. You can always reference the manual at any time during the installation. The satellite speaker should be placed 6 to 8 feet, or 1.8 to 2.4 meters apart, for best coverage. To achieve the best balance between satellites and subwoofer, the subwoofer should be placed as close to the center of the satellites as possible. First, dig a 4 to 5 inch or 10 to 13 centimeter trench along the perimeter for running the speaker wires. Next, dig a hole for the subwoofer, leaving approximately 6 inches or 15 centimeters between the bottom of the subwoofer canopy and the ground. Please note that you will not bury the sub in the ground at this time, as you will need to wire and test the system first. Now you are ready to run your 14-4 direct burial wire based on the layout of your system. Starting from the furthest speaker placement, run the wire to a location where your audio specialist can connect the feed to your amplifier or receiver. Leave the wire attached to the spool until the last speaker has been connected. Now that you've laid out the system, we will show you how to connect the wires. 14-4 direct burial wire is recommended because it is durable and will withstand extreme weather conditions. Start by creating a 6 inch or 15 centimeter loop of wire. Take your cable stripper and cut the wire jacket at the end of the loop. Reposition the cable stripper to the beginning of the loop, cut the jacket, then flip the lever to change the position of the blade and drag the stripper along the length of the loop to cut the jacket. Remove the jacket and the paper to expose the conductors and separate the wires. With the wires exposed, use the red and black for the right channel and white and green for the left channel. In this example, we will connect this speaker to the right channel using red for positive and black for negative. Start by cutting the red and black wires in the middle of the loop. Next, use the wire strippers to remove approximately 1 inch or 25 millimeters of insulation to expose the copper wire. Twist the exposed copper wire conductor together to keep the wire from fraying. Partner the red conductor from the 14-4 cable to the red conductor from the satellite speaker. Evenly line up the wire jackets checking to make sure the exposed copper is about the same length before twisting the three wires together. This will ensure a good connection when the wire nut has been twisted in a clockwise motion. After the wire nut has been twisted securely onto the wires, pull on each wire to make sure they are securely held by the wire nut. Now repeat this process for the black wires. Wrap the connection point between the wire and wire nut with electrical tape. Once finished, group the wires together and secure them with a wire tie to relieve any strain. Repeat these steps for the left channel using the white and green wires. Remember, the white wire will be connected with the red wire coming from the satellite since they are both positive leads. The green wire will be connected with the black wire coming from the satellite since they are both negative leads. You can always refer to the manual if you need more instruction. When it comes to wiring the subwoofer, you will notice the subwoofer has a four conductor wire and will connect to both the left and right channels of your amplifier or receiver. Connecting the subwoofer is easy. Just repeat the same process as you did for the satellites using all four wires, matching them color for color. After you have wired your system together, it's now time to test the system. Play your favorite music at a moderate level and listen for any unusual sounds. If everything sounds good, you can now bury the subwoofer in its hole and the wires in the trench. Now your installation is complete and you can enjoy your SR1 system year-round.